Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to be talking about Halo MCC's microtransactions. This video has been highly requested, especially since 343 actually said they are still considering adding them to the game. Now when I first covered this in a video, a lot of you guys agreed with me and said no, Remy, Halo MCC should not have microtransactions. However, there was quite a few people, a lot even saying they wouldn't mind Halo MCC having microtransactions, and they gave examples as to why that is. So I wanted to talk about it a little bit today, give both sides of the coin, the good and the bad, and then you guys yourselves in the comments can make up your own minds. So 343 said that they're thinking about adding microtransactions for Spartan points so you can pay to unlock the cosmetic equipment on Halo MCC. The initial reaction from the community was it's a really, really bad idea, don't do it. The community said it was bad, because with Halo Infinite's microtransaction system, it has been absolutely milked to maximize profits as much as possible. And they don't want to see the same thing happening to Halo MCC. That's what I personally said as well. But what I was concerned about more than that was if it starts with Spartan points, is that a way to get them in the door? And then even more microtransactions come later down the line. Where do we draw the line? Now the other opinions of the Halo community said they're for microtransactions and their justification was that they don't want to play Halo Infinite, they want to keep playing Halo MCC indefinitely. And if there's microtransactions on Halo MCC, that would mean 343 is going to support the game for longer, put more resources into it, and overall put more content and time into the overall collection. And some people just want to keep playing Halo 3, or Halo 2, or Halo CE. And if that keeps the game populated, they can play the game they love for longer. So I completely get where they're coming from. Now we know the Steam Workshop, and the rest of the mod tools is really going to breathe life into Halo MCC for years to come. So the game itself is not going anywhere. Now if you didn't know, the actual Halo MCC team at 343 is a skeleton crew. It's very, very small. So as it stands, don't expect really huge updates going forward. Because there's only so much a small team can do in a certain period of time. And I think that's where those people who are for microtransactions are coming from. They would love to see Halo 3 and the other games continue to be supported for years to come. Kind of like old school RuneScape and RuneScape 3, both being supported with their own different communities. However, ultimately, it's going to come down to the community. The way I see it is if the community isn't extremely vocal that they're against it, 3 or 3 will probably add it to the game, put up with the backlash for a while, and things will just go back to normal. So time will tell. Now a video like this is very important because 3 is still deciding on what to do. Which means if we want to have an impact and an influence on their decision, you guys have to give your opinions as to why you do or do not want microtransactions and state why you think what you do. The best way for us to get change on a game isn't to just yell at 343, it's to give them constructive feedback as to why we don't want something. And then if an overwhelming majority come to a decision, then that's probably the route 343 will take. So guys, I put the question to you. Should Halo MCC have microtransactions? Why? Why not? I look forward to reading your comments because I have a feeling I know what you guys are going to say already. You guys know how I feel about it. Regardless of the decision, Halo MCC and Halo as a whole is going to have some wonderful years ahead. So thank you all for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.